And talking of identity, oh, I say, little girl, who are you? Peggy Clark. Hmm, can you prove it? Yes, I've got my identity card. Eh, eh, she has an all. But the identity card idea is by no means new. Here's one from the last war. Can't we think of something better than a card? Yes, that's rather attractive. And this has its charm. Some people hide their identity under another name. And some have uh, other hiding places. There's some talk of fingerprinting us. But it isn't always the best people who make the best impressions. With all the fingers and both thumbs taken down and used as evidence, there's no alibi. To be able to identify foodstuffs is very important. Can you, for instance, tell a mush stool from a toad room? These are nice, dear. What are they? The mushrooms. At least I think they are. I found them in the cellar. Fungus that you can eat, if you must have your fungus, is identified by various definite names and shapes. And the mushrooms that you can eat without giving yourself collywobbles have their different names and shapes. A chemical society asked for ideas for identifying poison bottles in the dark. And here are some of them. This one did at least throw a little light on the subject. And the bell idea rang true. But the device that stuck out was the porcupine. That scored a lot of points. The glass revolver was a good shot. But the most shocking was the bottle and battery. Effective, but not very popular. The final solution was the ribbed bottle, easily identified in the dark. Even if the bottle isn't ribbed, you can't be too careful. Most things in the army are identified by numbers. Revolver, troops for the use of one. Also identified by numbers, like the guns that kill, are the drugs that cure. The microscope, too, identifies its specimens by the numbers of grains. Furniture is mainly identified by its legs, like centipedes and, uh, well, principal boys. Some people even prefer Adam's straight legs to the shapely curves of Queen Anne. Of course, the blackout makes identity very difficult. Now, fancy bumping into you. Not Miss Wiggins, surely. <laughs> well, well, I'd have recognized those little ears anywhere. <laughs>